Between 2013 and 2016, Police Scotland spent £46 million on a programme intended to deliver £200 million worth of cost savings. The actual outcome was a programme that collapsed with disagreements between the police, the consultancy, the government, and resulted in no system, no benefits, and an audit by a spending watchdog. So I think it's worth taking a closer look to see what we can learn from it. I'm Stuart Taylor from Influential PMO, and this video is about the failure of the I6 program that was commissioned by Police Scotland and delivered by Accenture. Rather than just listen to this story about things going wrong, I would encourage you to put yourself in the position of the people involved in the story and think about what you would do in each situation and how you would attempt to resolve it with the benefit of hindsight. In doing so, you'll be one step closer to avoiding these situations and avoiding being featured in one of these videos. Back in 2011, the I6 program was conceived as part of a business change program within Police Scotland. Its business case identified two main objectives, the development of national common policing processes and the acquisition of a modern, scalable, extensible national ICT solution that allows for the recording, management and analysis of information which aligns to these processes and through its design and its ability to be integrated with other police ICT systems maximises data management efficiencies. The national I6 system was supposed to be central to the police reform. It was going to free up 70 back office police officers to go to frontline duties. It was going to improve the way that data was managed it was going to release £200 million in benefits, and it was supposed to contribute to the reduction of crime. In March 2013, the full business case had been approved. The Scottish Government and Scottish Police Authority also awarded Accenture with a £46 million fixed price contract to deliver the system. But within a month of signing the contract, and despite 18 months of pre-award discussion, Accenture and the police found themselves in disagreement about whether the proposed system could deliver on the requirements as stated in the contract. The I6 program team didn't believe that Accenture's pre-existing model that they were building on was capable of delivering the requirements as stated. But Accenture's view was that Police Scotland hadn't provided detailed descriptions within the business requirements and that Police Scotland had already signed up to their belief that the system would actually deliver on what they intended it to do. This early disagreement contributed to a breakdown in the relationship and a loss of trust between both parties throughout the rest of the program. As the program continued, the I6 program team became more and more concerned with details around the design and the specifications. They escalated these concerns to their program board. Members of that board started to express frustration with the lack of detail being provided from Accenture and started challenging elements of the design. By September 2013, the program was reporting a red status with only one milestone having been accomplished, the award of the contract. In October 2013, Police Scotland were considering taking legal action against Accenture for breach of contract. Both parties agreed to resolve this dispute between them to avoid the commercial and political consequences of such a public fallout. In November 2013, Accenture had failed to complete its high-level design phase, but had now started work on its detailed design phase. The I6 program board expressed concern about the overlapping nature of this work and the risk that it would produce. By April 2014, Accenture and Police Scotland had arrived at an agreement to alter the contract and sign a variation, which included a new delivery timetable. As part of this agreement, Accenture had agreed to amend parts of its IT system and to address some of the gaps that had been identified. Police Scotland had agreed to take responsibility for parts of the plan and also to take responsibility for the transfer of data. But within months, new disputes had arose and Accenture were claiming that scope had been changed requiring more bespoke design. Police Scotland maintained that the only changes had been introduced as part of the agreed change control process. Throughout all of this, the I6 program board was challenging Accenture about its timeliness and the quality of its reporting and documentation. They also raised concerns about the expertise of the Accenture development team and observed the high turnover of key resources. In August 2014, the functional design was behind schedule. This was a key milestone linked to a payment of 2.6 million, which was also delayed. Accenture claimed this was due to greater complexity in the design than they'd agreed to, and now the go-live date of the whole program was starting to move from July 2015 to September. Product testing began in January 2015. Accenture found various technical problems within the system, but they still expressed a 90% confidence in the program's ability to deliver. After product testing had concluded, Accenture handed the system over to Police Scotland for user acceptance testing. In June 2015, the program board expressed concern about a number of unresolved defects within the system. 
Accenture and Police Scotland though found themselves in disagreement about how critical these defects were. The program board challenged Accenture on its testing standards and claimed they weren't within industry standards. By now the relationship between the parties was extremely fragile, with no trust on either side. Despite assurances by Accenture and a demonstration of the developing i6 system, User acceptance testing found a number of significant flaws. These included critical errors in technical coding, higher than projected levels of flaws that Accenture was not able to resolve as quickly as expected. Serious concerns raised that the criminal justice module did not comply with the integrated Scottish criminal justice information system data standards. Errors in the search and audit modules, problems around the limited functionality in the administration module for which Accenture had already received payment. Accenture agreed to carry out a root cause analysis and to report back to the program board with its findings and its actions to resolve these problems. At this meeting, Accenture assessed its confidence of hitting the December 2015 go-life target as 91%. The i6 program board challenged this assessment. It would appear the skepticism was well placed. In December 2015, Accenture reported back that an additional 30 months would be required to complete the work. This would push back the go-live date and would cost several million pounds more than the agreed contract. Police Scotland rejected this proposal and all parties started to explore future options for the i6 program. During this time, Police Scotland arrived at an estimation that in order for Accenture to fulfill its obligations, it would need effort eight times greater than it had estimated during the signing of the contract. Police Scotland concluded that Accenture had underestimated the complexity of the system and had overstated their own ability to deliver on it. The assumption that the majority of the system could be based on a pre-existing system that Accenture had already created had proved to be incorrect and that a bespoke solution had been required all along. All parties agreed to terminate the contract and by July 2016 a settlement agreement had been reached. The contract enabled the Scottish Police Authority to secure a settlement agreement of £24.65 million. This meant that Accenture agreed to refund £11.09 million that the SPA had paid, and to make an additional payment of £13.56 million. This reflected the costs of staff, hardware and licences. In the description of this video you will find the link to the audit report. It states that the i6 program was complex and highly ambitious. Police Scotland and Accenture originally believed that the majority of the i6 system could be based on an existing IT system that Accenture had delivered elsewhere. This belief was incorrect. As the design and development of i6 progressed, it became apparent that Accenture would need to develop significantly more than had been originally anticipated. Despite delays and serious problems throughout the lifetime of the program, Accenture provide regular assurance in the face of strong challenge about their confidence in delivering the i6 system. This assurance proved misplaced. The audit didn't find a single reason for failure for this program. It did identify the lack of trust and the breakdown of the relationship early on but he also identified that both parties were absolutely determined to deliver on this system and may have been guilty of some optimism bias. It did suggest that the waterfall approach may have contributed to some of the failure here and that if Police Scotland had earlier sight of some of the development then some of the problems could have been avoided. The audit did also point to the over-reliance on the original system that Accenture had built for the Spanish police and said that a bespoke solution had been required all along. I've actually been in situations where I've been working for a public body that's been buying in an IT solution and the relationship sours with the supplier. And looking back on those occasions, it was really beneficial that we had very level-headed and pragmatic leaders on both sides that worked really hard to rebuild the relationships. But it seems like in this situation, as soon as the contract was signed, both parties were immediately at loggerheads and unable to see each other's point of view. Anyway, at the start of the video, I asked you to put yourself in the place of the participants in this story, and I'd love to hear about any insights that you've had. So please, share your thoughts in the comments below. You'll be amazed at just how much that can help your fellow professionals. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.